We don't take shortcuts. You gotta decide your own future. I'm looking to make some changes, help other people. I'm active, baby. I'm active. What are you doing? I told you to talk to the neighbors. Shake hands, kiss babies, talk to your neighbors. This is actually the neighbor of this house coming over, giving her an update on what's going on. She's really excited to see it change. And she's gonna give us some history on what's going on. Okay, we're gonna put you on camera real quick so you can say everything. You wanna be on TV? You wanna be on TV? You wanna make it a movie star? So, start from the beginning. Tell us about the history of the house and the glass box that we took out. Yeah, the glass box, um, the front uh -huh. there was what we call bottle window. Uh -huh. And uh, it's been there since 1952, 1950-52. Mm -hmm. And the house originally was owned by two sisters uh -huh. who sold it in 57, 58 mm -hmm. to the Hallets. And then uh, it was sold to Meg Perkelson okay. uh, in the 80s. Mm -hmm. And she died three years ago. And uh, this is the first time the house has actually been able to be totally renovated. It was messed up by Sandy. Mm -hmm. Oh, by Sandy? Sandy? Oh, trees and stuff? Yeah. Oh. That's all from Sandy. Wow, because there were a lot of trees back here. And she died at 90. Wow. Now, what she did was raise uh, Shih Tzu's and uh, Yorkies. I told you, were, I told you it was a Yorkie farm. <laughs> she was raising Yorkies, that was the cages. They were, they were uh, small cages. A AFK, uh, a, you know, whatever the- AKC. Thank you. Yeah, AKC. 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 Yeah. We were the real dog breeder here. Yeah. I knew it. I knew it. They were healthy. They were gorgeous. Yeah. My my brother has the last, last Litter? one that they had. Uh, it's a Yorkie. Mm. She's a riot. She's a little tiny thing. I actually have a Yorkie. She's they're, big. They're adorable. Yeah, his name is Gucci. It's crazy. <laughs> they're adorable. I do. Big yeah, man, little dog. Yeah, yeah, there you go. I I'm a big man with a little dog. I have a dog. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to insert my dog. Insert Yorkie here. Gooch. I'm going to so show you Gooch. Is the house being sold? Yes, we're renovating it. Um, and we're going to put it back on the market after mm -hmm. we're done. We got lots of work. Like, I'm going to take, because it's so dangerous pulling out, I'm going to take the driveway and make a U shaped driveway so someone can pull in and pull out and it won't be such a mess. Okay. And um, yeah. And you see all the property she has? Yeah, everything here. Yeah. Yep, cleared everything. Have you seen yeah. it cleared? Yeah, we cleared everything. Well, they, my kids used to play there. Yeah. With the hell, it's that big. They played on the property. Nobody believed us when we kept saying, I know where the property ends. It right. ends over here. Right. And uh, they said, because it became overgrown, mm -hmm. you saw the way it was cleared. Mm -hmm. But it was beautiful, beautiful yeah. property. It was kept that, yeah. kept up. Yep. And uh, it's just, when you put it on the market, let us know what it's going to go for. I'll show you Because everything. my daughter signed it over. Okay. She was willed the house. Okay. So we had to sign everything. Everything we'll go to. I'll keep you on the entire process. Every time we hit a milestone, I'll come knock. Actually, give me your phone number. Okay. Let's do that. Let's exchange numbers. Okay, so we're good. Let's wrap up. Let's go back to work. Nice okay. to meet you again, Mrs. You Muhammad. Know I want to know about yes. the tile. What uh, tile? The, the, the siding? Yeah, the siding. What do you want to you. know about it? Uh, because I saw it's all in one length and then one we chop length. it up yes. and then yeah. we chop it up on in smaller lengths because if you run the one length it'll look crisp. you have to stagger it so right. it makes sense okay. so we have to even though it's one length you got to cut it and like like a puzzle place because it. my my house with the um uh, whatever uh -huh. i can't think of it the shutters no the uh, shingles shingles uh -huh. thank you my shingles are all uh individual uh -huh. and i was looking at that and i said yeah i could use that in the back yeah, what you would do is um, you would just put foam over it, and then you, after you foam it, then you go right over whatever side you want. Foam? Yeah, this is foam. This is a foam membrane. Oh, And so everything is straight. It uh, insulates the house. This is foam insulation. It's a membrane that insulates the whole entire house. So once you place this on top of the shingles you have now, mm -hmm. your house will be warmer in, in the winter and cooler in the summer. I'll be done. Yep. Is it expensive? Once you wrap an entire house, and it's not as it's not that not too expensive. No, no I, as I said, because my back really <laughs> back sides. I mean, if you're gonna do the if you're gonna do the back, you might as well just do the whole house. I have to do the sides, you know. You might as well do the whole thing. Yeah, uh, the <laughs> You know, there. Well, <laughs> well, let's uh, let's take a look at it. The sides. <laughs> and do all of it. Just the whole thing. But as we can, <laughs> as we as we um as we progress with the job, like I said. I'll text me any questions you got, anything like that, and I'll you got my number. We'll stay in touch. Yeah, because my daughter said, you know, will they let us look through the house? Absolutely, when they're finished? absolutely. Are you putting in appliances also? Or? Everything, granite, hardwood floors, extending the bedroom in the back, adding the bathroom. Oh. 
Oh, wow. A master, the master bedroom is going to have a master bathroom. We're going to take that hole back and blow it out so that the kitchen... Let me show you. So being that we have the, the foundation here already, and the oh, footing, okay. oh, I see. we're going to bring everything out to here all the way across. So now the kitchen's bigger because we're going to make, make, take this wall and blow it out. So now the kitchen will be bigger. The kitchen will come to somewhere around here. Wow. And then the living room will be bigger. And then the master bedroom will be bigger as well. And we can add a master bathroom. Okay, so you're going to make that one the master bedroom where yes. you use the other one on the other side. Yes, that was the master before. We're going to make it in the back. Nice, with a sliding door in the back. Nice. Right, because that one had the door that came out on the patio. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see, the other room in the there, front. On the other side of the kitchen. In the front, huh? Yeah, the, the front room. Thank you. Uh, that was a bedroom. So you still have three bedrooms? Yes. Are you going to do anything with Finished the basement? Finished basement. Finished. Finished basement. Um, new boiler, new electric oh, panel, obviously. Be, it's going to be a brand new house. Gorgeous. Yeah. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Wow. She, oh God, you know, poor Meg, she'd love this. She would have loved this. Yeah. Wow. I will definitely have to see it when it's finished. Yeah, we'll keep you posted. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Oh, watch your step now. Now you got the history of the house. You like when the house has some history, give you some backstory to it. Um, neighbors, like I said, cool. This is not the first time we met this woman. Um, upon acquisition, we met her. While we were working the first time we met her, we actually cleared a couple of trees out of our yard for her. When I told you, shake hands, kiss babies of your neighbors. Neighbor to the front, neighbor to the left, neighbor to the right, knock on the door, tell them who you are, tell them what you're doing, let them know your intention. That way they look out for you, they look out for your house. Everything will stay on the job. What I mean by that is in these neighborhoods, people actually break in. They will steal your materials, they will steal your tools. It's good to have an extra set of eyes when it comes to a neighbor because they will call you and let you know what's going on. Now, I've already given her a business card. She's forgotten, she's a little bit older, but I just gave her my cell phone just in case um, she lost the business card. So now at this point, we're friends. I like making friends. You should make friends with your neighbors. Call this video Friends with Neighbors. Make friends with your neighbors. You're a flipper, right? You're a flipper? Okay, make friends with your neighbors.